This is MultiGP's new Pro Spec frame. I've just gotten done building it up, and before I even go fly it for the first time, I'm just gonna tell you guys an overview about what this is, where you can fly it, how you can get your own, and how you can be ready for the next evolution in spec racing. Look how far we've come since this tiny trainer. If you don't know, this is based on the spec drone that was developed for the Sharjah UAE race and went down, and then other pilots had the opportunity to fly that same spec fleet at International Open for a special event that we're going to have more on the channel very soon about. But now you can get a version of that same frame, build up your own and compete in many different events. The first of which is already scheduled for August 9th and 10th in Kansas City, Boner Springs. But we're going to tell you a little bit more about that later on. Now, what qualifies to be able to fly for this? This only has two available frame options. This one, which is probably what everybody is going to be using and a prig and the prey can only be used with original arms. Now, every quad is gonna require LEDs, and you're probably gonna need a few more than what I have right here, this little tiny trainer kit, but hey, it's a start, right? The motor for the spec is gonna be any 2808 size motor or smaller. The spec prop is gonna vary from event to event, and as you go to an event, a prop will be selected for that event, so it could come from any manufacturer, and they'll be given away at that event for free, included in your race fee. The battery is going to be any 6S 2200 Ma pack or smaller. So if you do have a few of those 5S 2200s left over, you could run them even though you might be at a slight disadvantage, but hey, you can still run what you brung as long as it's smaller and not bigger. Electronics, any ESC that is capable of doing RPM limiting because there is going to be a special pro spec firmware where you can select the spec, probably some version of CAC that Lamone's cooking up. So be prepared to flash your craft to that in order to get the special spec RPM limit for whatever we're going to go with. Now for the video systems, you can use HD0 or old school analog. But if you're building a brand new six $700 quad, and you're not flying on HD0, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You can use any control length, Crossfire, Ghost, Express LRS. You know what? If you show up with FR Sky, we will shame you, but we'll still allow you to fly. I was able to take a test flight of one of those Charger built up drones. And you know what? Compared to the other leagues out there, that 6S power, even though it's a very similar weight, it just felt nicer in the air. I'm not used to flying such big and heavy things, so they honestly just don't feel very good. But with that extra power to get around corners, it felt a little bit better. When it's time to build up that multi-GP Pro spec, you're gonna wanna assemble a few things. Because this is a giant build that has 30 by 30 available, we're gonna use the Foxier budget stack. Just because the frame is big, doesn't mean the price has to be only 66 bucks for this. Next thing you wanna do is get your 90 FPS camera, get yourself an upgraded lens, but also possibly get yourself a very long MIPI cable. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is get your VTX. Now, if you're converting all of your five inch to the Race V3, now's a perfect time to yank one of those Race V2s off of one of your five inch racing build. This uses an SMA at back, so you're gonna wanna get yourself an SMA pigtail for this type of mounting right there. Keep in mind that the LED kit is not released yet, but I'm hoping that somebody makes some sort of a mounting solution, maybe to put dual tiny trainer LED kits on there, sort of like this. That'll actually give you 48 LEDs on the top, and then you can use the lower four for the bottom of each individual arm. What I like to do on some builds is actually just use one of these on the arm of one of my five inch racing machines. That's kind of cool because it just gives you a little addressable LED that you can use when you're flying with friends and make everybody visible. Some nice upgrades from the actual charger drone are the MR30 mount holes that allow you to run an MR30 so that you can have quick motor swaps. It looks like the min weight is going to be around 1200 grams that's not set in stone yet right now as far as the different leagues are concerned this one is only eligible to be flying in the multi gp pro spec however if the open source frame rule were to be dropped from street league it would be eligible from that one as well but i 
don't know if that's likely to happen. Now, before we go any further, I just want to take a second to say thanks to all the other specs that came before this, especially Street League. They really developed a way to get seven inch racing going. They had a ton of races, and even though I wasn't able to compete in it, I got to come and see the race they put on at Houston, and it was just a ton of fun. So thanks to those guys for blazing that trail, and I think that it's still going to continue. I hope that it does. Having more specs is not even close to a bad thing because more racing is always better than less racing. It is gonna be a little bit tricky to keep up with because you're gonna have Whoop Spec, Ultra Whoop Spec, Tiny Trainer, Freedom Spec, Street League, MLDR, and I'm sure there's plenty of other ones that I'm leaving out. Put whatever other specs you enjoy in the comments. We're definitely at a crossroads where drone racing is starting to evolve and that evolution is moving faster and faster. After the spectacle that was put on at at Sharjah, I can say that these specs are real and they're spectacular. They're real oh. and they're spectacular. <laughs> and they're perfect for spectators to see. They're fun for us to participate and race in. And I can't wait until this spec is able to get some of the biggest prize purses around. That's my prediction. I think that the first $50,000, $100,000 prize purse is going to be given on a drone of this size. Now, which league is going to be able to do it first? That remains to be seen. You can easily tell that we're getting better at putting these events on. The skills all across the board are leveling up and we're right there ready to watch spectators watch. Even at International Open at the stock race, we had a little crowd of people that came just to be able to see the lit up gates, the lit up quads flying around the night sky. It was fantastic. And now you can get in on this action too. There's plenty of tickets available for that event in Kansas City. Just Book yourself a ticket over to Boner Springs. I don't know who is gonna be the track designer for that, but if they don't pick Boner to design the track at Boner Springs, I mean, come on. Have you built up your Prospect Quad yet? They've only been out for a few days. I spent most of my free time yesterday building this thing up. I didn't need lunch or dinner, but guess what? I can't wait to see how much this thing eats. And guess who you're gonna be competing with if you do get a ticket over to Boner Springs? It's gonna be Vanover. Who else is going? If you've got your ticket booked over there to Boner Springs, leave a comment below.